Welcome to the Art Out of Everything. I'm Eric. This is Haim. We have a new top five. And today we're going to be looking at the top five stolen artwork. Yeah. Let's explore some awesome art and get our security cameras installed. Not a sponsor. So our first one is the Mona Lisa, which basically is a priceless yeah. painting. One of the right? most famous paintings of all time. Basically, the most famous, most priceless painting. So it's kind of a famous theft that happened. But how it happened it was three Italian guys hid it into the art closet of the Balou, right? The Louvre. The Louvre <laughs> Museum. I can never say all these accent weird. But anyway, so they hid in there and they came out and they stole the artwork and put it under their truck and got away, right? So it's crazy. crazy. They crazy. got away. And then they tried to sell it to an art dealer. The art dealer became a little suspicious hmm. and... Yeah, how did they get the most famous painting of all time? That's I crazy. know, so it's kind of like, why would you steal the most famous painting? Kind of hard to hide that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But anyway, so this art dealer got a little suspicious and notified the authorities and they caught those guys, right? Mm -hmm. That stole those paintings. She returned back to the museum after 28 being 28 months of being stolen. It's a long time. I know, 28 months. Time. So I guess they were probably like, uh, what do we do? We just stole the most best painting ever. And how do we sell it? So I think they didn't really think yeah. about selling it. So, so that's the first one. All right, number two is the scream. Now this is one that we've seen on a future on a previous video. So yes. go ahead and check that one out. Check it we'll out. Yeah, the cereal is awesome. This is also a very famous painting, and it was stolen in 1994. Two times, right? Well, I was getting there. Oh, I was sorry. <laughs> so I got was... you. I'm doing it. Two times. <laughs> it was stolen anyway, twice. First 1994 time. 1994 and 2004. The first time it was stolen, they they asked the the museum for for ransom for a million dollar ransom and the museum said nope and they they warned the authorities and they did a sting operation and they actually recovered it and they got it back Which but then awesome. 10 years later it was stolen again it's stolen a second time the poor scream he was probably screaming the whole time <laughs> that's true i didn't think of that the scream was probably screaming like oh why am i keep getting stolen right yeah but it was they found it again it was damaged but now they, they have it back and it's back at the museum. But it was stolen twice. Ten years apart. Crazy. Poor scream. <laughs> Number three goes to me. No, just kidding. Number three goes to a museum in the Netherlands in 2012, which is not too long yeah, ago, right? There were seven artwork stolen. Famous paintings such as Picasso, Matisse, and others, right? Mm -hmm. What were they worth? 300 million. 300 million dollars. That Crazy. is a lot of money yeah. for seven paintings. They were stolen. They were never recovered. They actually found the people that stole them though. And, but they never found the art. But one of the thieves, his, his mother, claimed, yeah, burned them. claimed that she burned them. So that, oh, that, that, that her son would not be thrown in jail for stealing them. Uh, he, but, he denied that he stole them, but they actually found some of the remnants of the paintings in the her fireplace. fireplace. So, Pretty guilty! She, did it. she was, who knows? No, she was, and he was guilty, right? Yeah. Guilty, guilty. <sighs> Why would you burn a painting? So number four goes to, I would say, probably the most ambitious, craziest, heaviest, seriously, like mm -hmm. the heaviest. And this one is an artist by Henry Moore. He made a massive, bronze sculpture that weighed two tons. That's like 10 of us together. Trying try to, to pick up 10, 10 of us, us and, and we're, we're solid, solid and we don't have wheels and nothing. He's trying try to pick us up. Right? And it was 11 feet long, made out of bronze. This huge <laughs> statue. And they <laughs> stole it without anybody noticing that they had stole it. I know. That's like, Easy. how would you steal that? That's probably so much planning that went into stealing that mm -hmm. to find all the machine. But like, how did you steal that without anybody noticing? I don't know. Yeah, and the, the sculpture was worth 3 million euro. And they, they think that after they stole it, they just melted it down for scrap, which was about uh, 1,500 euro. So they didn't get the, the money from it. I don't think they made sad. the money. Uh, 1,500 to try to steal a two-ton sculpture yeah. and yeah i don't know they probably didn't get their money for it but that's awesome good job for being super strong maybe they hired superman no not a good job they I stole mean, it i know job. <laughs> maybe they maybe they hired superman that's how they did it 
That's my philosophy. They hired Superman to do it. Superman just did the job. Well, Superman has a good heart. He does good. He's not bad. Well, they probably tricked him and said, hey, we're going to go help people. And I don't know. Maybe that's a dumb philosophy. It doesn't work. <laughs> okay, the last one, number five, is the the most expensive yeah, one that was stolen. It was the largest theft ever happening. The largest the property world. theft, right? In the entire world that's ever happened. And it was stolen from the Stuart Gardner Museum in Boston yeah. in 1990, so 30 years ago. 30 and it, years still, ago. it still hasn't been solved. They still haven't tracked down these paintings yet. They still haven't found them. And one of those paintings of those 13 paintings was a Vermeer. And Vermeer only painted 34 artworks in his lifetime. So Vermeer paintings are rare. And one of them was a Vermeer. And one of them was a Rembrandt. You might have heard him. He's another really famous artist. So it's very sad that these 13 pieces of art were stolen. But the museum actually did something really cool. I think it's awesome. They actually framed the, the frames for those mm -hmm. artworks. They kept them up and they have the names. And so you can still go see that museum and they still have it. And they still are trying to find those artworks. So I think there's a little hope. I think mm -hmm. they still have that hope holding on. And so that's why they haven't just tossed it and put new artworks. They're still trying to honor those mm -hmm. paintings, even if they get destroyed or something. They're mm -hmm. still honoring it. And so I think that's an awesome, great way to honor those paintings. Mm -hmm. So keep your eyes open. If you see any of those paintings or any of the artwork that we've talked about today, keep your eyes open. And if you see them, real, the real ones, yeah, it's not call the, the police. Prints, prints. Call the police so we can get the, they can get those back. Yeah, that'd be awesome if we can get those back. <laughs> Especially the heavy one. <laughs> It'd be fun to get that one back, right? <laughs> Put that on the back of my truck. No, that would probably break my tires on my truck, right? right? Wasn't that just awesome? It was so cool to learn about the different thefts that have happened. Unfortunately, those are sad stories, but mm -hmm. they're interesting to learn from. Mm -hmm. And there are more that have happened. You can learn about those on your own. But we just picked these five stories because we felt they were the most interesting, interesting, right? Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and, and share this video with your friends or family or any of their art lovers that you know. Yeah, true. Um, and in the comments below, make a comment of what you think our next top five should be. What the topic should be for the next top five. Yeah. Keep up with your awesomeness and we'll see you next time. Welcome to the Art Out of Everything. I'm Eric and I like to make art out of just about anything. And creatively destroy them. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can join this awesome art journey.